video about QuickBooks, we're going to look at custom fields. QuickBooks is off-the-shelf software, so it's designed to work for as many different people as possible. And as, a, as you get that generic accounting software, there's often things that an individual business will want to track or information that they, they want to keep that QuickBooks isn't designed to do, at least not directly off the menus. But QuickBooks has added this feature for uh, custom fields. A lot of people don't even know it's there. And even those that do don't understand how powerful it is. But actually, there's a lot you can do with custom fields in QuickBooks. There's different types of custom fields, uh, mainly two in the normal uh, everyday QuickBooks product, and that would be uh, custom fields for names like customers, vendors, and employees. And then there are also custom fields for items. And we're going to break this subject up. Actually, I should mention that third one is in um, uh, QuickBooks Enterprise. And in the Enterprise product, you get um, a lot of customization along with custom fields that um, makes it a much more powerful feature. But, so in this video right now, we're going to uh, stick to custom fields for names and how is that useful in QuickBooks. So I'm going to start by opening the Customer Center. And from either the customers or vendors, employees, I can add custom fields for uh, names for any of those. In other words, I'm going to use a customer, but if I wanted to add uh, a custom field for vendors, I could do that from here. So let's see how this works. I'm going to uh, right click there on uh, Christy Abercrombie's name and I'm going to choose Edit, Customer, then here in the Additional Info tab, here is the Custom Fields section. Now you can see that the sample file already has three custom fields set up, contract number, birthday, and spouse's name. Okay, those are pretty basic things. It might be handy to have the spouse's name for your customer or the birthday if you want to send out uh, something to your customers when, when it's their birthday. But you can really do a lot more with uh, custom fields than that. Custom fields can be used on forms that uh, are used by customers. So by that I mean like an invoice. So I can create a custom field that's used on an invoice. So let's see how that works. All right, I am going to uh, add a custom field by clicking here on Define Fields. Then uh, I'm going to come down here to a blank line. And I'm going to add Serial Number as the name of a field. And I only want to use this custom field for customers. I could use it for the others if I wanted to. You can see that uh, the birthday is used for both customers and employees. This we're just going to use for customers. So this is from an example of a client that I worked with a number of years ago. They did repair work on the electronics on airplanes, so it would be small planes. Um, and in that business, they were required to keep the serial number of every plane that they worked on and every transaction had to have that serial number on there. So in case there was you know, some kind of an accident or a plane crash or something that, that that maintenance information could be verified. So that's what we're going to do. So we have serial number. Now, I mean, I can add information right here just like the sample file has with Tim, but that's very limited as far as a usefulness goes. And a customer could easily have more than one plane. It could be a private party. It could be like a crop duster. We have a lot here in the agricultural area that I live in, and maybe this crop dusting company has several planes. So, so that's we really want to use this on invoices. That's what we're really after. So I add the field here for customers. And then let me open an invoice and point out just a little bit here about how I'm going to find the information to add this to an invoice. There are a number of invoice templates, yet some people haven't noticed that. 
but it's specified right here on the invoice form on the screen. This one is called Rock Castle Invoice, so this company, Rock Castle Construction, has done some customizing to the invoice form and they've given it a name so that it's a specific template and that's Rock Castle Invoice. Okay, so that's the template we want to use. That's the one that we want to uh, edit. I could actually do that from here if I went to Formatting and Customize Data Layout. Let me show you another way to get there. If I go to Lists, there is a list of the templates that I have in QuickBooks and here are here are all of them. The, the, the type here tells me I've got all these templates for invoices. Okay, It's all going to be the same transaction when I create an invoice. It's just the way it looks on the screen and the way it looks when it prints. Okay, here's that Rock Castle invoice, the one that this company uses that they've already customized for themselves. So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to choose Edit Template. And this is the screen that opens. There's a lot you can do as far as customizing templates. Uh, that's going to be for another video uh, another time because uh, that, that could take a while to get through all of that. But uh, the, as far as adding that custom field, we're not going to find that capability here on this screen. I'm going to go to Additional Customization. Here we go. Now this series of screens divides up the invoice form into several different sections. You can see we've got header, columns, progress columns if we were using progress invoices, footer, uh, and print. There are even certain settings we can use for printing, like telling QuickBooks which printer to use if there was more than one printer assigned to the computer. Every time you use this invoice, print to a certain printer. Uh, some people that have pre-printed um, invoice forms and they just customize the form in QuickBooks so it only prints the information into the form that they've already printed, they would use that, uh, that feature. Okay, so all these uh, fields are pieces of information that are available in the header part of the invoice right here where we have the the bill to and the ship to, the invoice number and date, these boxes here are also part of the header. And all of these pieces of information, I can tell QuickBooks whether to include them on the screen when I go to create an invoice or print. Let me move that up there. You can see the column headers here. Whether I want that printed on the paper invoice that I print or, or both. Most of them you can see are both. But uh, here's one, project job, it's to print, but not, uh, not show on the screen. Well, here are the custom fields at the end of this list. And there's the one that we just created, serial number. You can see the others here that were already in the sample file when we created the serial number field. Well, serial number, I want to show that on the screen because I want to enter information into it, right? Every time I do an invoice, I want the serial number for that plane to be entered there. And I'm going to say I want to print that as well so it prints on the printed copy that I give to the customer. Um, again, we could go to Layout Designer and there are all kinds of things that I can do to customize this. Uh, change the borders, change colors, a number of things. Again, like I say, we're focused on custom fields here. All that other information is for another video another time. If you noticed, QuickBooks added on this little graphic here of our invoice template that serial number field, that's where it's going to show. That's kind of an ugly template, actually. Uh, we could do so much more with that. But again, different topic. I'm just going to leave that where it sits. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click OK here. OK, close my list of templates. If I look at an invoice for Christie, there's the serial number field now. So it adds to the, you know, anytime I look at an invoice, whether it's a new one or whether it's one that was created way in the past, it's going to have that serial number field on the template because that's, that's what we've told QuickBooks to do when we customized that form. 
All right, let's close all of this and let's create an invoice. So now uh, let's just pick a customer and we'll come down here and serial number, whatever that might be. All right, put that in the field. We'll come down here and say we did some labor on that. Let's make this brief 10 hours at uh, $50 an hour, okay, a $500 invoice. Okay, let me pull that up. It's not giving me my buttons down at the bottom. Wow, there we go. Okay, save and close. So that information is now specific Oh, it's, it's asking me if I want to save this in the customer file so I, uh, QuickBooks will pull that up then the next time I do an invoice for Robert Allard. And I'm going to say, no, don't keep that because the next time we work for Robert Allard, it may be a different serial number on a different plane. The other place that serial numbers are available is on reports. And there's a lot I could do to customize the report to look just for the serial numbers I'd worked on. Again, let's keep this simple. Let's go to a sales by customer detail report. And let's add a column. I'm going to have to find it on the list here, so bear with me. I may have passed it already. I expected to see it closer to the bottom of the list. Okay, let's try that again. Amount paid, current rate, the other is a check number, ship to information, paid date, average paid, back ordered material color, action, state, uh, account type sorry serial number there we go okay I'm gonna add that to my report and there we go there's a number now for the serial number column there's the invoice for Robert Allard and there's the serial number on there Serial number is just an example. All kinds of different things you can do with that. Your contract numbers, um, anything special about that particular invoice that you want to track specific to a customer or specific to an invoice. Because I can have, even though it's still Robert Allard, I can have a different serial number on every invoice I create for him. QuickBooks keeps that information specific with the invoice when I save it. It's not like an address or something that changes uh, on all the forms when I change the address for a customer. You know how it changes all the invoices in the past, not the custom field. So I can I keep multiple serial numbers and I can have those specific to the invoices I create. Well, I hope that's helpful. I think if you'll give that a little thought, you may find there's um, a way that that will help you that you can Keep that information that QuickBooks just off the shelf won't do, and it will allow you to keep that information uh, specific to the invoice and that will make it available in reports to you. So, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. I try to get to those when, uh, whenever I can. So, thanks.